What's up guys, it's the old Ninja One Aviators and Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now guys, uh, it's been a minute since we've done a weapon review or weapon logs video and I have honestly, I've been waiting to do a review of these weapons um, because I wanted to get the fight done for this weapon and it's going to be some nunchucks today. Yeah, we're reviewing nunchucks, but not these. Instead, we're actually going to be reviewing these. Bang. Bladed nunchucks. Right here. Bladed nunchucks. This is way too close to my face. Because you're in the uh, danger zone. So guys, you all know how I feel about nunchucks. If you've been a fan of this channel for a minute, you know exactly how I feel about nunchucks and they are devil weapons. They want nothing more than to hit you for using them and that's still true but these are honestly kind of dope though because these have blades at the end. These are going to be 10th degree nunchucks sent to me by 10th degree. Uh, I'll leave links down in the description. They are they sent me a bunch of different things. They sent me the Thanos staff. They've sent me a bunch of bow staff to review stuff like that. They are an awesome company and they have sent to me these bladed nunchucks here. So when you take these and compare them to a set of regular nunchucks, you can see that they are the actually the exact same length. They are the exact same length. But because of the blade, the blade makes the chuck part, the handle, a bit shorter. So it's just something, if you like using your nunchucks at the tip, just like this, which I don't know why you would, I don't. That, I don't think that's a good way to use them at all. But regardless, if that's you, just know that you won't be able to use that in that way with these, simply because, you know, you're not supposed to grab the blade. However, if you use them like me, which is up by the grip here, you can use them perfectly. Now, due to this being a blade, and it obviously not being a real blade, these are for show, these are for tricking, so obviously making them a real blade would be, you know, bad, because this is for show, not for killing, even though it would probably work just fine. Uh, these are going to be lighter than their uh, regular nunchuck variation. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Now, this material is actually a very light aluminum, and so... Uh, when you're practicing and when you're doing stuff, you're not going to be weighted down by this heavy blade at one of the ends. That doesn't happen. It stays light and it stays relatively smooth with, with how it spins and how it controls, just like that. Now, this doesn't mean it's not dangerous at all. Uh, just because it's a dull blade doesn't mean it can't hurt. If you're spinning it fast enough, it can still hurt. And if, you're th if it's moving fast enough, it can still stab you or cut you. So when you're practicing with these, make sure you know what you're doing. Don't be a beginner starting off with nunchucks like these. That's not a good idea. Start off with foam nunchucks if you're a beginner and then go to regular tricking nunchucks like these when you're an intermediate, uh, when you're entered your inter when you're in your intermediate stage. Man, I cannot talk today. I don't know what it is. But when you are advanced, when you know what you're doing, when you feel confident with yourself and your physical ability to use nunchucks, then you can bring these in. They are nice weapons, but need to be respected. And so make sure you take that into consideration when you're doing that. Now, as far as the weapon itself, uh, you're going to have three chains in the middle, which is ideal for spinning and doing tricks, in my opinion, uh, and honestly, most people's opinion. Uh, it allows you to have more control and get a nunchuck going faster than uh, what you could if it was a rope or uh, a longer chain. This also, The shorter chain also allows you to do these hand rolls relatively easily without having to catch the chain or the rope in the middle because no one likes doing that. Being able to have a shorter chain that will hand roll and land with this nunchuck in your hand instead of grabbing the chain is ideal for chicken and this is perfect for that. So for all of you guys out there looking for some awesome new nunchucks to trick with and play with and use in the next competition, uh, this is a great pair of nunchucks to pick. But just, you know, be careful because it can still hurt you. So like always, like with all weapons, treat it carefully, treat it with respect, and be careful when you're learning how to use it. It is a, a learning curve. I've been doing weapons for literally years. I've even been doing martial, 
I've even been doing nunchucks for years and I've still, you know, hurt myself and cut myself and scraped myself here and there uh, with normal nunchucks. And I've definitely done it a couple times with these nunchucks when I was practicing uh, and putting together the fight scene that I'm pretty sure has already dropped or will drop one of the two. Uh, you, see, you see parts of it in this video, but um, that that's a good segue because definitely go check out the fight scene with these nunchucks. I want to do, I want to start doing little clips of uh, short and shorts of each of the weapons in just a short little fight thing so if you are interested in seeing that definitely check out that video i'll leave links in the description if it's already posted and if it's not already posted i will just tell you to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss when it is posted haha -ha! see what i did there but with all that said guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to do all the normal youtube stuff like comment subscribe if you want to get yourself a pair of these check out the link below to 10th degree weaponry these are my new chopsticks uh <laughs> it's i don't know what's in, what's with me guys i am i am losing it today it is just it's today's wild but with all that said my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out